Hi kids! Welcome back again for another episode of Learning. For today's lesson, pag-aaralan natin ang tangent second power theorem. Let's look at the figure. In the circle, Tx, which is the tangent segment, and Tz, which is the second segment, intersect at an external point T. Then, we have the theorem, Tx squared is equal to Ty times Tz. Ang Tx natin ay ang ating tangent segment, ito siya. Ty is the outer second, ito siya yung Ty, and Tz is the whole second. Ayan yung Tz. Ito ang gagamitin nating formula pag magsasolve tayo ng problems related to tangent second power theorem. Let's have the first example. Nilagyan ko ng measurement yung drawing natin kanina. So we have Tx is equal to 4, Ty is equal to 2, and Yz is represented by n. Okay, at meron din tayong equation kanina. The tangent segment squared is equal to the outer second Ty times the whole second which is Tz. Ulitin lang natin. Tx is the tangent segment, Ty is the outer second, and Tz is the whole second. Substituting the given measurement, Tx is equal to 4, square is equal to Ty, we have 2, times Tz is equal to n plus 2. Okay, bakit n plus 2? Dahil ang ating Tz ay equal siya sa uh, inner second na n at saka yung outer second kaya pa-plus natin n plus 2. Ang ginagawa kasi ng iba, n lang, e eh, yung n ay inner second. Solving for n, we have 4 square 16 is equal to 2 times n plus 2. Then, divide both sides by 2. Okay, so bakit hindi ko na-distribute dito? Dahil pwede naman nating i-divide na yung 16 by Two. Pero pwede nyo rin siyang i-distribute kaso mas mahaba ang solution niya. So, 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. So, cancel yung 2 rito. N plus 2 na lang ang natira. Then, 8 minus 2, nilipat yung plus 2, is equal to N. Then, 6 is equal to N. Okay? So, tingnan natin kung anong hinahanap. Tz ang hinahanap, which is the length of the whole second. So, n here is equal to 6. Para makuha natin ang whole second, which is Tz, kailangan natin i-plus yung outer at inner second. So, Tz is equal to 8 units. Let's have the second example. In the figure, find the value of x. Gawa muna tayo ng equation relating the tangent and second segments. So, the tangent segment square, which is 6 here. So, 6 square is equal to the outer second, which is x times the whole second, which is x plus 9. Na i-plus natin dahil ang x dito ay outer second, ang 9 dito ay inner second. Then, we have 6 square, 36, is equal to, by distributive property, x square plus 9x. Then, we have 0 is equal to x square plus 9x, lipat yung 36 dito, minus 36, para maging quadratic equation to. So, 0 is equal to factors ng uh, x squared plus 9x minus 36, we have x plus 12 times x minus 3. Then equating both factors to 0, yung x plus 12, we have x is equal to negative 12. At saka ito naman ay x is equal to 3. So, i-disregard natin ang negative values dahil wala naman tayong negative na length. Therefore, x is equal to 3. Let's have the next example. In the figure, find the value of x. Okay, so gawa ulit tayo ng equation relating the tangent and the second segments. So, the tangent segment square is equal to, okay, so yung x tangent segment, the outer second, which is 5, times the whole second, pagpaplasin natin ng 5 at saka 10. Okay, kasi whole second ang hinahanap natin. Then, x square is equal to 5 times 5 plus 10 is equal to 15. So, x square is equal to, i-factor na muna natin yung 15. Kasi meron tayong x square dito. So, 5 times, yung 15 ay equal sa 5 times 3. Dahil kukunin natin ang square root, kaya ako na i-factor na. So, x is equal to, since ito ay dalawang 5, 5 times 5 is equal to 25, pwede na natin siyang ilabas, kaya magiging sagot ay 5 square root of 3. Then, this is, the value of x. For the last example, given the figure, find the length of AD. So, 
Using the tangent and the second segments, we have the tangent square AB. So the AB square is equal to the outside second, the outer second AC times AD. Then substituting the given measurement, AB is x plus 5. So x plus 5 square is equal to AC which is x plus 1 times AD, ipa-plus natin itong x plus 1 plus the inner second which is 12. Okay, then solve for x. So ito i-expand natin magiging x square plus 10x plus 25 is equal to x plus 1 times x plus 1 plus 12 is 13. Then by the FOIL method, we have x times x, x square, x times 13 plus 13x, 1 times x plus x, 1 times 13 plus 13. So is equal to x square, 13x plus x is equal to 14x plus 13. And then kopyahin ko lang itong nauna, x square plus 10x plus 20. So nakita natin na may x square sa left side at x square sa right side, i-eliminate na natin sila dahil pag nilipat ko yung x square dito sa right side, cancel na rin naman sila. Next, uh, 10x, lipat ko yung 14x, so minus 14x is equal to 13, lipat ko yung plus 25, so minus 25. 10x minus 14x is negative 4x is equal to 13 minus 25 is equal to negative 12. Divide both sides by negative 4, then x is equal to 3. Okay, so since x is equal to 3, then the length of AC here is 3 plus 1 is 4. Then the length of AD na hinahanap natin is equal to 4 plus 12 is equal to 16.